So everyone, I'm going to be making pumpkin bread and I'm actually following the recipe from Smitten Kitchen for the pumpkin muffins. Um, but I'm going to make a few alterations because I always do when I make a recipe. So you're going to need a half cup of, one and a half cup of flour. So your flour, you could use all purpose flour, bread flour, or whole wheat, or a combination of all three. One cup of all purpose flour and half a cup of whole wheat flour. I like to mix all my dry ingredients and then all my wet ingredients separately. I just I think it mixes better that way. Okay. It's about a half cup. Dump it in there. Okay. Teaspoon of salt. Bring half a teaspoon of baking soda. So, half a teaspoon. And then, one teaspoon of cinnamon, which I'm going to put in the recipe. The recipe later calls for a mixture of cinnamon and sugar to put on top of your pumpkin bread once it's formed. It's Oh, sugar. Right now, all I have is this low calorie sugar. I'm using it to dry it out. Regular sugar is probably the best. And this is a replacement. Anyway, I suggest to use regular sugar, but. Oh, that means my oven's been preheated. Okay, so the recipe calls for one and a fourth cups of sugar. And I'm just going to use the same cup measure I was using. Where is it? Where'd it go? Try to use the same thing over again, that way I don't have to dirty as much. I find that the best thing to do is whisk all the powder together so that it can mix evenly. And actually I forgot a teaspoon of baking powder, which is what I forgot last time I made this recipe. There you go, you got a nice little mixture. And we're combining all our dr our wet ingredients now. Since that's a bigger bowl, I'm gonna pour all this into the smaller bowl. Ooh, I'm kind of making a mess here. But you gotta do what you gotta do. All right, dry ingredients, wet ingredients. So you also need a teaspoon of pumpkin spice with your dry ingredients and you want to mix that in with the rest of the dry ingredients. Well, here goes. Um, I'm also going to ask you to put one teaspoon of cinnamon and one tablespoon of sugar together aside so that you can make your mixture so you can have ready for later. Okay, tablespoon of sugar. Fortunately, I don't have that measurement, so I'm just going to double up. Okay, and I don't know if you've ever had pumpkin spice, but it is kind of, I don't know, I guess it's very strong compared to cinnamon. So if you want to add some pumpkin spice in this mixture, I would suggest if you have a half a teaspoon, do half of a half a teaspoon. And there you go. Just mix it up really well. And that you're going to pour over your bread once it's ready. Also, um, it's um, you want to use regular sugar with this. I, I, I actually tried using this smart sugar before. And uh, Regular sugar kind of crystallizes, this kind of just stayed powdery, which kind of sucked. It didn't look as nice, in my opinion. Okay, we're mixing our wet ingredients. So we're going to use one can of pumpkin. Just one, yeah. One can of pumpkin. Make sure you get everything out. This is always fun.
And if you recycle, just set it aside and save for later. Okay, I have a stick of butter. She calls for a third cup of oil, vegetable oil, but not quite a fan. This is in real butter, this is margarine. So just stick this in here, put it in the microwave for about, I would say, 15 seconds. You want two large eggs. So you got them here. Crack them. One. Two. Well, that means our butter's ready. You can melt it all the way, but you don't have to. I'm just going to pour this in. You just want it to soften for sure. And the recipe does not call for vanilla. So I have some homemade vanilla in a Crown Royal bottle. I'm just going to put a teaspoon of vanilla. There you go. mix that up and then you'll add your dry ingredients next into the wet mixture so it's better to have the wet mixture in the larger bowl mix 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 fun stuff all right let's get this out of the way dry ingredients you don't want to pour them all at once, but you can, which I will. Whoop. Okay, just keep mixing. Mix, 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 mix. See what that's looking like? need you can always add more butter I actually found out upon experimentation that putting less butter is not good because you usually strip the recipe the bread comes out very hard and nasty so more the merrier and if you feel like adding more butter you can add like one or two teaspoons and just because I like butter or margarine. I'm gonna do one more teaspoon for 10 seconds. Well, this is pretty much ready to be poured into your baking pan. That looks like. At this point, if you want to taste the batter, you can. All right, now the fun part. Um, I'm gonna use um, these pans, these paper pans, because uh, my bread's gonna be a gift. So if you're the person who I'm gonna give this to, you will see this video later, and you know exactly what I did. Anyway, um, you want to use pan still if you use this uh, fancy paper. What is it called? Patisserie paper. Um, because uh, I tried cook baking on these before and it got all the bread got stuck to the side, so I'm still putting some pan in there. So I'm gonna pour all this in. And you can add some sound effects. Fun stuff. Yeah. Oh wow, 
I'm surprised I'm not really making a mess, but... And it was very easy to clean everything since I only used like three, three um, containers. Yeah, so you want to kind of smooth it out if you have a spatula or whatever. Um, usually when you pour the mixture in, it doesn't necessarily like fill the sides like a cake mixture because it's uh, a lot denser. It's not really viscous because it's almost a solid. Sometimes you gotta use your fingers. Down the side. Not right there. Alright. Remember your dry ingredients that I asked you to mix a while back? <sighs> you just wanna sprinkle them on there. And since I'm using this uh, artificial sugar, it's gonna look kind of powdery when it comes out. Anyway, you wanna stick into the oven for 30 minutes at the least until you can stick a toothpick into them and they don't come out well and they come out clean I'm sorry so preheat your oven for at 350 and then for 30 minutes put them in the oven I'll show you the end anyway the end product will be coming out soon I just wanted to correct myself my units were wrong. This isn't a teaspoon, this is a tablespoon. So I put one extra tablespoon of butter and originally I put four tablespoons. So a total of five tablespoons of butter. And if um, you would want to equate that to, your, to the original recipe, which actually called for, I think, of, anyway, it, it called for a total of five and a half tablespoons. Hello, I'm back, and this is the end product. This is our pumpkin bread, and um, let's see, I don't know if you can see that's the hole where I poked it. Find out if it was ready, and let's take another view from a different angle. Anyway, um, you want to wait for it to cool if you're going to wrap it later because you don't want any moisture to build. 